Are you tirelessly fighting stubborn breakouts that just won't budge no matter which acne treatments you use? What if I told you the issue might not be acne at all? In this video, I want to shed light on a common yet often misunderstood skin concern that's been increasingly affecting many people, fungal acne. Despite its prevalence, it's frequently misdiagnosed and mistreated, leading to prolonged frustration and skin issues that could have been resolved with the right approach. Fungal acne is becoming more widespread, and yet it's one of the most misidentified skin conditions out there. Many of my people spend months trying every acne product under the sun, benzoyl peroxide washes, salicylic acid toners, retinoid creams, but nothing seems to work. In some cases, these treatments even worsen the condition. Why? Because fungal acne isn't actually acne, and treating it as such can exacerbate the problem. There are numerous misconceptions surrounding fungal acne. One common myth is that it's caused by poor hygiene, which can lead to unnecessary stigma and self-consciousness. Another is that it's a rare condition, so many don't even consider it as a possibility. These misunderstandings make it incredibly challenging to identify and treat effectively. Let's dive deeper into what fungal acne actually is. Medically known as Malassezia folliculitis or Pterosporum folliculitis, fungal acne is caused by an overgrowth of yeast, specifically the Malassezia species, that naturally resides on our skin. Under normal circumstances, this yeast coexists peacefully with our skin's microbiome. However, when an imbalance occurs, it can proliferate and infect the hair follicles, leading to inflammation. Here's how fungal acne differs from regular acne. First, the appearance. Fungal acne typically presents as small, uniform, red or skin-colored bumps on the skin. They all look the same. These bumps are often itchy, a distinguishing factor since regular acne doesn't usually itch. Normal acne, on the other hand, can vary greatly, ranging from blackheads and whiteheads to painful cysts and nodules. Next is location. While regular acne commonly affects the face, fungal acne is often found on the chest, back, shoulders, and sometimes on the face, particularly the forehead and along the hairline. What are the triggers? Fungal acne thrives in warm, humid environments. Factors like excessive sweating, wearing tight or non-breathable clothing, and using oily skincare or hair products can create the perfect breeding ground for yeast overgrowth. If your breakouts aren't responding to traditional acne treatments for months, or worse, are getting more irritated, that's a significant clue you might be dealing with fungal acne. Here's how you can test whether you have fungal acne at home. Apply an over-the-counter antifungal cream to a small affected area for a few days. If you notice improvement, it might indicate fungal involvement. However, always consult a dermatologist for an accurate diagnosis. Now that we understand what fungal acne is, this is how to treat and prevent it effectively. First is antifungal treatments. The cornerstone of treating fungal acne is using antifungal medications. Over-the-counter antifungal shampoos containing ketoconazole, selenium sulfide, or pyrithione zinc can be used as body washes. Apply the shampoo to the affected areas, leave it on for about five to 10 minutes, and then rinse off. This routine helps reduce the yeast population on the skin. For the face, you want to use an antifungal gel or cream. Next is avoid heavy oils and fatty acids. Yeast feeds on certain oils, especially those rich in fatty acids like oleic acid. Avoid skincare products that contain ingredients like olive oil, coconut oil, or esters that can exacerbate fungal growth. Opt for non-comedogenic and oil-free products instead if you are prone to fungal acne. Next, wear breathable fabrics. Clothing plays a significant role for fungal acne on the body. Choose loose-fitting clothes made from natural fibers like cotton or moisture-wicking materials that allow your skin to breathe and reduce sweat accumulation. And finally, lifestyle changes. Consider making some adjustments to your daily habits. Think about your hygiene post-workout. Always shower promptly after activities that cause heavy sweating. Leaving sweat-soaked clothes on can promote yeast overgrowth. Consider your diet. While research is ongoing, some studies suggest that reducing sugar and carbohydrate intake may help as yeast can thrive on these nutrients. Manage your stress. High stress levels can disrupt your immune system and skin barrier, potentially contributing to imbalances in your skin's microbiome. And finally, consult a professional. 
If over-the-counter options aren't effective, it's crucial to see a dermatologist. Prescription strength antifungals, either topical or oral, may be necessary for more severe cases. Keep in mind that overusing antifungal products can disrupt the natural balance of your skin's microbiome. Always follow the recommended usage instructions by targeting the root cause, yeast overgrowth. These treatments aim to reduce inflammation and clear up the skin effectively. Fungal acne may be a tricky condition to identify and treat, but with the right knowledge and approach, you can effectively manage it and achieve clearer, healthier skin. Remember the key differences lie in the appearance of the bumps, their location, and how they respond to typical acne treatments. By recognizing these signs, you can take the appropriate steps toward treatment. Switching to antifungal treatments, adjusting your skincare routine, and making mindful lifestyle changes can all contribute significantly to resolving fungal acne. Patience is essential as it may take a few weeks to see noticeable improvements. Your skin is unique and what works for someone else might not work for you. It's all about understanding your skin's needs and responding accordingly. Now it's your turn, I'd love to hear from you. Have you had experiences with fungal acne? What treatments have worked for you? Drop your thoughts and questions in the comments below. If you want to learn more about acne, don't forget to subscribe for more videos and then check out these videos here next.